happy weekend. <laughs> Meryl continues our royal wedding countdown right now. And you've got the British accent covered. I'm just going to let you handle that, Vicki. She nailed that. That was perfect. It wasn't it? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> whoa, that's amazing. It so. is. Well, the royal wedding is now just hours away. And if you still need some ideas on how to make your watch party magnificent, Food Network stars Trace Barnett has you covered. Great to have you with us. Great to have, be here. I'm so excited about the wedding. Mm -hmm. And if you're throwing a last minute party, this is the best way to set up for it. Okay. And you know, it's early morning too, so you want to make it as easy as possible. Right. So one thing I love to do is I love a combination of silver and galvanized stuff. Okay. So you know it's so kind of high low? It's kind of high low. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like that really high tea, really formal and then you have like a little bit of Alabama thrown in there with the <laughs> rustic galvanized stuff. So like this galvanized tray here. Mm -hmm. Another thing I love is roses and you know everyone has roses growing in their garden. If not utilize any kind of wild flowers that you can. And of course we have this really fun festive carriage here. Not everybody's going to have this. Not everybody's <laughs> going to have a carriage but I did find this at an antique store That's back gorgeous. home. Um, but if you don't have a carriage you know simply build that up with a clock or build it up with boxes. One thing I love about this carriage is it gives a little bit of height there. Mm -hmm. And you know, just use clear crystal containers, throw your roses directly in there. And I love to just bound those up in my hand and just drop those in the container and you have so a built-in no arrangement. No fuss at all. That's great. Also, if you have some greenery, I love to throw those in and utilize antique, um, you know, any kind of tea service. So mm -hmm. use the sugar container, use um, the, the teapot tea itself. Yeah. That was escaping me there. It's not every day you use a teapot. <laughs> also too, is a peach tea sandwich is the perfect cocktail. Mm -hmm. It's light, it's refreshing, you know, it's a little hot here in the south, so this is our version of high tea. Okay. So take four cups of tea, and you can use any kind you want. We just use um, Earl Black tea. I think it's Earl Grey, Earl Black. Anyway, to that add some um, peaches, and the peaches can be fresh, they can be frozen, or they can be canned. We're using canned today, and if you're using canned, I like to throw a little bit of that syrup in there because mm -hmm. it helps sweeten it. To that, we're going to throw in some um, oranges, and these are Cara Cara oranges, and you can use any kind of oranges you want. To that, we're going to add some triple sec, and we're going to add in a little bit of vodka, roughly like half a cup okay. of each, and then we're going to top it off with the best thing ever, and we're going to top that off with champagne. You can use um, a Prosecco, a champagne, anything that's sparkling is perfect for that. If you wanted to make this non-alcoholic also, just simply use like a flavored sparkling water okay. and a peach flavored or orange or anything that correlates with your sangria. Nice. I love to throw in and kind of round it off with a little bit of mint because I love peach and mint together. Fresh I think that's so a, nice. It yeah. is, yeah, and we have so many fresh herbs growing in the garden this time of year. It's We might as well take advantage of those. Pour that up in a glass and you have yourself a great cocktail. Garnish with a little bit of peach and mint. Tell me about Comeback Kitchen. Come, You're back on Food Network again. I'm back on Food Network. So Comeback Kitchen comes out May 27th. It's at 8 o'clock on Sunday. And it's kind of like the Food Network star all-stars. They bring us back from season one all the way up to my season, season 13. And there's eight of us. And we're back in the kitchen competing to see who's going to make it back on season 14 nice. of um, Food Network star. And there you are. That's me. Sporting the beard this time. We got a little bit of different look. So <laughs> hopefully the beard can pull it through. I hope so. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Wish Have, you all the best. Too, Cheerio, right? thank you. <laughs> All right, well, check out Trace's blog. It's The Bitter Socialite if you'd like some entertaining tips and ideas. And you can cheer Trace on as he competes in the new Food Network Star Comeback Kitchen show that premieres Sunday night, May 27th.